I recently got back from a camping trip with my family and while most of us were sleeping in either a tent, our car, or a trailer, my aunt and uncle pulled up in this beautiful and spacious RV and that sparked a question that I've been asking myself and other people lately, uh, what is the difference between an RV and a tiny house on wheels? Which one is more affordable? And overall, which option is better? I primarily look into tiny homes for the videos that I make on my channel. And from all the companies that I've looked at, it just seems like tiny homes are pretty expensive. Now, of course, it depends on the company, the product, and all of the finishes on the inside, how nice this tiny home is. But for the most part, I feel like I've been noticing that RVs are in many cases a little bit more spacious and also more affordable than tiny homes. But in spite of this, there is still a huge market and lots of demand for tiny houses. So I just want to figure out what is the deal? What is the deal? In today's video, let's discuss the difference between the two in regards to aesthetics, functionality, and of course, price. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Arena. I'm a real estate agent here in the state of Oregon. And over on my channel, we discuss a whole variety of topics ranging from prefab tiny homes to the real estate market to the workforce and the economy at large. I do also have vlogs on my channel that just take you behind the scenes of my life as a real estate agent. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, definitely be sure to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so that you never miss a future upload. So before we dive into the advantages of a tiny house versus an RV, let's Let's talk definitions really quick. So a tiny house is exactly what it sounds like. It's just like a regular residential home, but a lot smaller. And oftentimes these tiny homes are built on a trailer, so they're on wheels and they can be easily transported. In other cases, tiny homes can also be on an actual foundation. It just sort of depends on what your needs are. These homes are very, very customizable and are designed to use a small amount of space in very creative and efficient ways. From loft areas to unique storage solutions to customizable furniture, Tiny homes are really geared towards people that are looking for a more minimalist lifestyle with fewer items in their home. I'd say this is a very, very cool, but also very niche type of lifestyle, mainly geared towards individuals or couples without kids or folks that are retired and are wanting to downsize. Now, something to keep in mind is that these tiny houses, even though they may be on a trailer, on wheels, they are not specifically made to travel long distances for long periods of time on all different types of terrain. Most tiny houses are actually not RVIA certified. Some of them are, but some of them aren't. It just sort of depends. Now, RVIA stands for Recreational Vehicle Industry Association, and this association is responsible for the licensing and certification of RV manufacturers. Now, what does this mean? This means that all traditional RVs do have to go through an inspection and the weight and the size of the RV have to be approved specifically for long periods of traveling for various types of terrain, it does have to be a lot more lightweight than your standard tiny home, like your standard materials that you would use to build more of a residential type of structure. Basically, the materials used to build an RV must be very lightweight in order to be deemed appropriate for long distance travel, and not all tiny homes will meet these requirements. Now, as far as our definition for RV or recreational vehicle, this is a vehicle that is specifically designed to be moved and traveled down the road regularly. RVs are built with aerodynamics and weight in mind. They're made with lightweight materials while tiny houses are significantly heavier, often better insulated, but not specifically built for aerodynamic efficiency and aren't usually designed to be moved very frequently, if at all. Now let's get into the pros of having a tiny house versus an RV. First off, tiny houses are gonna be better insulated against the weather, against the elements. Keep in mind that this is essentially a standard residential home, whether it's stick built or prefab this is a home that is going to be built with building codes in mind. It's going to be very well insulated. You're going to be able to use heavier materials in order to build this home because it doesn't have to pass all of those standards and regulations that an RV would in order to be lightweight and aerodynamic enough to travel on the road. Another advantage to a tiny house, especially if you're getting it custom made, is it's completely customizable. There is a lot that you can do with the space a tiny home provides, which might sound kind of ironic because you don't have 
have that much square footage to work with but if you take a look at some of these tiny homes the way that they set up the floor plan and all of the different storage solutions that they have it's really really cool and they're very beautiful unless you buy a tiny home that's already made you do have a lot of freedom in regards to customization with rvs it's not necessarily the same you're kind of just buying it from the manufacturer as it already is unless you buy again a used rv and you fix it up and kind of add your own touches to it but for the most part tiny homes are a lot more customizable than an rv if your tiny home is on wheels there is definitely something to be said for being able to pick up all of your belongings and your entire house and just move across the country if you want to do that again you're not going to be able to travel over all different types of terrains or for very long distances because most tiny homes are not necessarily certified to travel on the road unless your tiny house is RVA certified, which definitely is possible. But in any case, it definitely can be cool to have a home that can just pick up and go. I think for a tiny house, it really depends on what your goals are. If you want to have an ADU, if you want to just downsize, really have more of a minimalist lifestyle and kind of stay put in the same location for a while, a tiny house may be a better option over an RV. While you can have a tiny home to use as your own residence, I know a lot of people also will get tiny houses to again, place on their lot as an ADU, rent it out and make passive income. You couldn't really do that with an RV, but with a tiny house, there is enough hype around them that I feel like it could make a very, very cool and unique Airbnb, uh, which would in turn create passive income for you. So that's another thing to think about when you're kind of deciding whether you want to go for a tiny house or an RV. Okay, now let's get into the advantages of having an RV. As I've already mentioned, for the most part, RVs are a lot more mobile and lightweight as they are specifically designed to be on the road for long periods of time. There is also no need to comply with building codes or local permitting requirements because this isn't a residential structure. And as far as meeting regulations and all that jazz, that will already be taken care of by the manufacturer because they already have to make sure it's RVA certified before they sell it to you. And let me tell you, building codes and permitting requirements can be absolutely terrible to deal with depending on where you live. Uh, here in the city of Portland, it, it depends like if you're in Multnomah County or if you're kind of out in the suburbs, but it can be a real pain to figure out if you can even place a tiny house on your lot and what the rules are. You have to make sure that the structure complies again with local building codes. So you don't have to deal with all that with an RV, which is definitely something to consider. An RV is also a lot easier to insure because when you think about it, like everyone knows what an RV is. It, it's pretty, you know, like they've been around for a while. Whereas tiny houses, I feel like is kind of a new thing and uh, insurance companies are still trying to figure out how to actually insure these things because you know even though you might have a tiny home that is stationary most of the time you might be transporting it from time to time so they have to really figure out how to actually insure this thing whereas with an rv it's a lot more self-explanatory unless of course your tiny house is rvia certified another advantage is that an rv can be all one unit which for me is definitely really attractive i don't really love the idea of having to hitch my tiny any house like that's on a trailer bed to a vehicle that will tow it I don't know I just I like the idea of having my RV and like my <laughs> my driver's seat all kind of as one unit. Another advantage that I've already mentioned briefly is that an RV can travel over pretty much any kind of terrain, whereas with a tiny house that's on a trailer, you may not be able to go over more rough terrain. RVs also actually tend to have more living space depending on the manufacturer. RVs are also generally easier to finance. Again, kind of like with the insurance thing, lenders know exactly what an RV is. They already have loans set in place that you can take out in order to pay for this a vehicle on a monthly basis but with tiny homes it's still sort of a new thing lenders are trying to figure out how to finance it with a lot of tiny house companies they are partnering with lenders so that they can offer financing sort of in-house i know with the boxable casita that is the case in their faqs they'll mention that they have lender partners that will be able to offer financing on it but just for the most part at least right now in the year 2022, it is easier to finance an RV rather than a tiny house. Resale is also a lot easier with an RV. Not everybody might want your used 
tiny home, but used RVs, I mean, like people are buying them all the time. I think with a tiny house, again, you have to really like find a niche sort of buyer that has land to place the tiny house on. But with an RV, it's generally pretty easy to sell it, though you might not be making a profit when reselling an RV like you might when reselling like a residential structure. The truth of the matter is still that it will be easier to sell it. Now, as far as price differences go, this can be a little bit difficult to discuss because pricing varies so, so much depending on the manufacturer or the company, depending on the actual size of the vehicle or the tiny home, depending on the finishes on the inside. There are just so many like bells and whistles that you can add on that will increase your price. It's really, really hard to have kind of a standardized sort of conversation about what pricing would look like but if i were to give ballparks you know from all the tiny home companies that i've looked at and talked about on the channel for the most part they will start at around sixty thousand dollars for like a more or less like a livable space there are tiny homes that are smaller but like I mean, they're, they're really, really tiny, not really something that you could comfortably live in on a daily basis. So I would say it starts from like 60,000 and can get all the way up to 200,000, if not more in some cases, which is definitely insane to think about. And I, I don't think that a majority of tiny homes reach that $200,000 price point. I'd say if I was thinking of an average, I would go between 120 to 140,000. But again, it just depends on the tiny home that you're getting. Now, while RVs can definitely be just as expensive, if not more, depending on how cool your RV is, I honestly think that you can get a pretty good RV, especially if you're buying it used from between 20 to $40,000. I just think that in most cases, it is actually cheaper to buy an RV than it is to buy a tiny house, especially if you're wanting to have more of a stationary tiny house and then you're having to deal with like permitting and building codes and stuff. You're buying an RV that's already been RVIA certified by the manufacturer, easy to insure, easy to finance. I just think in most cases, it's easier and cheaper to deal with an RV. If you have personal experience with buying a tiny house or an RV, definitely feel free to share in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what kind of numbers you ran into and I think it'll be helpful for everyone else in the comments section just to kind of see what real people have ran into and what you guys have paid when buying either one of these options. The bottom line is that it really depends on what your lifestyle is and what your goals are. If you want to travel a lot, an RV may be a better option, but if you wanna have stationary living or you wanna have an ADU, a tiny house may be a better bet. In my personal situation, my husband and I have placed a deposit down on the Voxable Casita. I have tons of videos about that, but our goals with it are to have it as an ADU on our lot. We already have a lot. We already live in a home on this lot. So it would be an ADU to either use as a short-term rental or a guest house. And it really fits our needs and our goals to have a tiny house specifically for this desired usage. But I can definitely see how an RV would be a better option if you're looking to travel a lot. Let me know in the comments down below if you think a tiny house or an RV is better. And let me know if you want to get either one or if you've purchased either one before. I just want to hear all of your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Other than that, thank you so, so much for watching. Definitely make sure to follow me on Instagram at Arena D if you'd like to see more of my life behind the scenes. And of course, you guys know that I am a real estate agent licensed in the state of Oregon. If you or anyone you know have any real estate needs, whether that's buying, selling, or investing, all of my contact information is in the description box down below. I'd love to hear from you and help you achieve your home goals. Other than that, I will see you next week for a brand new video. Bye.